There have been some major changes in how we add maps to an Android application. And so this video is going to demonstrate some of the changes and how we go to set up our software development kit in order to be able to access Google Maps. So I'm starting by going on to the developer site, developer.android.com and you can go to the rest of this Google slash play dash services to get to the Google Play services page. Now there's an APK kit that we can download and set up and so that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this piece. How to go in, there is the setup guide for us right here that will take us through downloading and setting it up. So first we're going to start by going into Eclipse and starting the SDK Manager. So let me bring up Eclipse here and I'm going to start my SDK Manager. Once the SDK Manager has loaded, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where there's the section for extras. And what we're looking for is the Google Play Services and I'm going to install that and I'm also going to update my other packages at the same time. So I'm going to pause this and come back after this is finished installing. Okay, so it has finished installing and now it says that I should also check for updates to see if the Android plugin needs to be updated. So I'm going to do that. And it says to go to Eclipse, help and check for updates. So I'm going to close this and on Eclipse I'm going to go to help and then check for updates. Okay, so I have a list of updates so I'm going to select them all and update them and let these run and I will come back when that is all finished. So after those updates it says I need to restart Eclipse for the changes to take effect so I am going to restart Eclipse now and then we'll come back. I've installed the Google Play Services SDK and so now it tells us where it put those files. So it put it in wherever our SDK folder was before into an extras folder, a Google folder, and a Google Play Services folder. And we need to know that because we have to copy those project files, that library, into our Android app projects. And it mentions here that if you're using Eclipse to import the library project into your workspace by using the file and import. So this is the method that I'm going to follow right here for working with Eclipse. So in Eclipse, I'm going to go to File on the menu and then choose Import. And then under the Android tab, if this isn't expanded, you want to click on it to expand it and choose Existing Android Code into Workspace. And I'll click Next. And now I have to navigate to where those new SDK files are. So I'm going to Browse, go into the Extras folder, and into the Google folder, and the Google Play Services folder. And then into the Library Project folder and the Google Play Services Library. And if you don't know, if you aren't going to remember all that, that is all back in this documentation on the Android developer site. Right, This has the full path. You find the location of where your SDK files are and this says to copy the extras, Google, Google Play Services, Live Project, Google Play Services Library. So this shows you the direct path of where to go in order to import this in. So once we're into this folder, we can click Open. And we want to choose Copy Projects into Workspace. And then click Finish. And then you'll be able to see in your Package Explorer over here are library and all the resources within that available to us in here.